Hello guys, welcome back to E7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily E7 Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to define and explain the design strength of the concrete with an example. So what does it mean by the design strength of the concrete? If I consider the concrete, let's suppose we made a concrete cylinder here. This is concrete cylinder. And we test this cylinder in the laboratory under the compression and we take the compressive strength of this cylinder for example the characteristic strength of this cylinder is found out to be for example is 50 megapascal this is just an example so we cannot use this strength directly in the design because there may be some uncertainties because of the effect of the creep or there may be change in the temperature, change in the humidity, or there may be segregation problems, or something else. But we cannot use directly this value in the design of the structure members. For example, in the beam column, we don't want to take this value directly from the laboratory. So what we do, we design, we take the design strength of the concrete. By design strength of the concrete, it means that we reduce the characteristics value of the concrete. This is the characteristics value of the concrete. Characteristic cylinder compression or compresso strength of concrete. So in case of the design, we reduce this characteristics value. So how? By using a formula alpha cc into fck dividing by the gamma c this is the formula given by the euro code in different codes you will find the different formulas but the main principle is same that we want to reduce the design strength of the concrete in order to have more confidence in our design structure so now what is alpha cc what is fck and what is gamma c here if CD is the design strength of the concrete and design strength of concrete alpha CC this factor consider the long term effects long term effects on the strength of the concrete on the compression strength of the concrete the durability effects this factor takes C and and this factor is assumed to be 0.85 in the euro code. So this is the first one. The second one is FCK. FCK as I discussed before. This is the characteristics. Characteristics. Compresso. Strength. Of concrete. And this depends from the, on the concrete design. For example, FCK can be 40 megapascal. It can be 50 megapascal, it can be 25 megapascal, depend on the concrete mixture design and the water, water to symmetry ratio. So this is the characteristic compression, compressive strength of the concrete. The last factor is gamma C, which is known as the partial safety factor for concrete. And it is assumed to be 1.5 for normal use. This is 1.5 for normal use. It should be kept in mind. This is for normal use. But if you, if you have some accidental cases, for example, impact or fire safety cases, then you can take this value to 1.2. This is for the accidental case. For example, accidental means, accidental case. Accidental means there is an impact load, earthquake load or fire load, etc. So these are the three different factors involved in the design strength of the material or the concrete. So by applying this formula, for example, let's suppose I want to free the space. Here, for example, my concrete strength is I got from the laboratory and it, I found it to be 50 megapascal. This is just an example. So how to find out the design strength? Multiplying the alpha cc which is 0.85 
multiplying with the characteristic strength which is 50 dividing by gamma c which is 1.5 for normal use i mean persistence are the transit case so 1.5 so if cd comes out to be here 28.33 megapascal so we reduce this value from 50 to 28.33 megapascal and this is now is the design strength of the concrete this design strength includes the factor of safety and the long term effect of the concrete so now we are more confident to use this value in the design of the beam or column because we have more safety of factor of safety in this value and also we consider the long term effects on the concrete or some other effects like the uh, the way the load is applied on the structure so hope you guys understand the main concept of the design of strength that it is actually the reduction of the characteristic strength of the concrete in order to have more confident in our value and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video